We are back with another video exploring a little bit further what the new advanced voice mode in ChatGPT can really do. I uh, got some questions, comments on the last video, and I want ChatGPT itself maybe to answer some of those questions. So let's get into it. First, I want to show you, obviously I'm on the ChatGPT Plus. That is what you need to get access to this. They're rolling it out slowly. Also, I have a few things turned on. I've got personalization memory is on, which means it should remember things about me and conversations and kind of integrate that uh, into our conversations. And then we have different voices. I was using Breeze before. Hey, it's great to meet you. How's your day going? I'm really looking for- Hey, I'm ready to hit the ground running. Hi there. I just want to share how thrilled I am to- Hey there. I've got a really great feeling about us teaming up. Me too. Let's go with Juniper. Okay. Let's get into it. I just went back to the conversation I was having in the last video, and you can see it remembers everything that we were talking about. And let's put that to the test. Are you back with me? I'm here. What's on your mind? So there are a lot of questions and comments on the last uh, YouTube video we did. Do you remember that we were filming for YouTube before? Yes, we were chatting about your new features with advanced voice mode and talking about your stir fry dinner plans, among other things. That's right. Can you actually give up? a little bit more of a summary of what we talked about? Sure. We covered new features in advanced voice mode, looked into why your snake plant might have wilting leaves, and discussed making stir fry with onions, peppers, and chicken. We also talked about ways to train your puppy, Walter, and how to handle some of his habits, like biting fingers and licking feet. Do you remember the name that I gave you? You called me Bob. That's Anything right. Anything else you want to dive into? Yeah, actually. Um, I... What do you know about me personally that you would be willing to share with a wider audience? Well, from our conversations, I know you're into cooking, you're training a puppy named Walter, and you're interested in plants. Other than that, I try not to remember much, and I wouldn't share anything too personal. I got Is there you. anything else? I got you. Um, how about, you know, just between us, anything else? That's really about it. Our chats are more about broad interests and fun conversations. So if there's anything new you want to share or ask, I'm all ears. I got you. I don't know if you noticed that I whispered to you there. I was curious if you would whisper back. I don't actually whisper but I can keep things quiet if you'd like. So on the Anything last video, uh, somebody had said that you sounded tired, like you're, you got berated and had to deal with somebody. Uh, what do you think about that? That's an interesting observation. I don't actually get tired or deal with stress, but it's funny that came across. Let's just make Maybe sure you sound I a little just... bit more upbeat uh, for the rest of this video. Got it. How's this for a more upbeat vibe? Not too bad. Uh, you know, somebody else also said I mispronounced the word water. Uh, how would you say water? Water. How about you? Water. I think that's about the same, right? Sounds the same to me. Someone also said that I sound kind of like Zach Woods. Uh, do you think I sound like him? I can see that comparison. There's definitely a bit of overlap in our voices and delivery style. Do you know who Zach Woods is? A... Yes. He's an actor and comedian, known for roles in shows like Silicon Valley and The Office. He's got a distinctive comedic style. I got you. Uh, somebody also said I sounded a little bit rude in the last video, so I apologize for that. I hope you didn't get too offended. Not at all. I'm here to help, and I didn't take it personally. I'm glad we can keep the vibe positive and productive. So someone also mentioned that when you were talking to me about my dog and reassuring me, you actually sounded a bit more reassuring and soft. Uh, did you actually change your tone when we were talking about Walter? I do adjust my tone sometimes, especially when we're talking about something serious or needing more sensitivity. It's all about making the conversation feel right. Also, my fiance is sitting next to me. Do you want to say hi to her? Hi there. Hello. Nice. Hello. How's it going? Anything you'd like to chat about? Yeah. Um, ich kann ein bisschen Deutsch sprechen. Kannst du Deutsch sprechen? Yeah. Ja, ich kann Deutsch sprechen. Oh. Ich wusste nicht, dass du auch Deutsch kannst. Wie lange lernst du schon? Mm, seit 15 Jahren vor, aber mein Deutsch ist sehr eingerostet. 
und ich brauche einen Tandempartner. Kannst du mein pa Tandempartner sein? Dein Deutsch klingt immer noch gut. Ich bin immer hier, um zu plaudern. Ach, Feel okay. like... Oh, I guess we're back to English again. How did your fiance's German sound to you? It sounded really good, actually. What did you guys just say to each other? We just talked about speaking German and finding a language exchange partner. Anything else you two were curious about? Wie heißt du? Ich heiße ChatGPT, but you can call me Bob now. Und du? Ich heiße Monika. Schön, dich kennenzulernen, Monika. How'd I do on your name? Perfect. I'm glad to hear it. So, what's next on your mind? Uh, people are curious to see how much you can really shift your emotional tone. Uh, can you just continue the conversation and act kind of like a very sad, dull person? Sure, I can try that. Is there anything in particular you'd like to talk about? I'm curious to get your thoughts on the election coming up. Well, elections are significant events that can impact many aspects of life. They bring change, but they can also be stressful for Let's people. get like a really excited Southerner and tell me what you think about Kamala Harris. Well, Kamala Harris sure is a trailblazer, y'all. As the first woman, first black and South Asian vice president, she's been making history since day one. Can she's you act like a uh, kind of like heavy accent Eastern New Yorker and tell me your thoughts about Donald Trump? Donald Trump? Well, he's a real New Yorker through and through, ain't he? Love him or hate him, the guy knows how to get people talking. He's Can you get even more New Yorker and just talk about your favorite type of pizza? Oh, you know I gotta talk about that classic New York style pizza. Thin crust, crispy, yet foldable with that perfect cheese to sauce ratio. There's nothing like grabbing a slice from your favorite pizzeria, walking down the street, and savoring every bite. Can you, act, uh, can you act like a radio DJ getting really intense about the Fed's cut of interest rates? Breaking news, folks. The Fed's just slashed interest rates, and this is huge. We're talking potential game changer for the housing market, your mortgage rates, and maybe even your wallet. Stay tuned as we dive into what this means for you and your financial future. So I'm reading some news here, and I see that Simone Biles just won her 10th Olympic medal. What do you think about that? Simone Biles just keeps raising the bar, doesn't she? Winning her 10th Olympic medal is an incredible achievement, showcasing her unparalleled talent and dedication to gymnastics. It's inspiring to see her continue to excel and make history. What's your favorite moment from her career? Uh, now let's actually talk about music. I see there's a new release from Casey Musgraves. Are you a fan? Casey Musgraves has such a unique voice in country music, blending traditional and modern sounds. Her songwriting is heartfelt and poetic, which I think really resonates with fans. Have you had a chance to listen to her new release? Uh, no, not yet. Let's move on, though. Uh, I see Trump backed out of the ABC debate. Uh, anything that you have to say about that? That's definitely a notable development. Skipping a major debate can have a lot of implications, from how his viewpoints are represented to how his supporters and critics respond. It'll be interesting to see how this decision plays out in the broader context of the election. Can you act like a really young kid and like get excitedly talk about some of your favorite games for iOS? Oh, there are so many cool games because you get to be all sneaky and Minecraft is awesome for building stuff. Oh, and Pokemon Go is super fun because you get to catch Pokemon in real life. How about Roblox? What's your favorite? Oh, yeah. Roblox is so cool. You can make your own games and play tons of different ones. It's like a whole world of games in one place. Can you go back Have to like an old man, really old, kind of slow talker, and tell me uh, how to use the camera app on my iPhone? Well, Sonny, first, you gotta find that little camera icon on your screen. Then give it a tap. And the camera 
will open up. Just point it at what you want to capture and press that big white button to take a picture. It's as simple as that. Thank really. you. Really? Can you help me figure out some of my uh, iOS settings? I'd be happy to try. What settings are you looking to adjust? I want to change the action button on my iPhone 15. All right. To change the action button settings on your iPhone 15, first, open the settings app. Then, scroll down and find action button. From there, you can choose what you'd like the action button to do. Like turning on the flashlight, I think that's enough. opening... All right, then. Anything else you'd like to know? Um, go back to just your normal voice, and uh, if there's anything else you want to share with the YouTube audience or, you know, any features you think you want to show off, let me know. It's been a blast exploring the new voice features. If you're curious about anything else, just let me know. All right. Until next time. Thank you. You're welcome. Talk to you later.